So I don't know if I've ever played with uh, three melodica, mm. accordion, toy piano kind of setup before. Um, yeah, it was interesting. Like, I don't know, it, it, obviously we can go a lot of ways here and, and there's a lot of ways, I don't know, a lot of things that can happen, but I think setting off, I guess we started off with that uh, sort of like a pad drone thing, which I think set a little bit of a tone mm -hmm. for the fact that we were going to have like this long material, but it was interesting to do. and. <laughs> For me, anyways, I don't know, like technically quite challenging of <laughs> managing two hoses. Uh, was hard Saliva to, like, issues. Oh, yeah, yeah, most definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Particularly since like one is like an actual mouthpiece and the other one I've lost for. So it's like uh, a lot of openings between these two for, <laughs> for kind of um, spit to happen. <laughs> yeah. I, I like this thing of uh, toy instruments, right? toy instruments and then the uh, like the contrast that that exists on playing in very stupid instruments not stupid but like childish instruments yeah, yeah. and doing kind of a, a melancholic uh, sort of a musical landscape right yeah, yeah there's there's something here that that I really like and uh, this this thing of also this thing of with acoustic and kind of small uh, instruments to do uh, music that is just like floating like this and quite continuous that has a certain similarity to maybe some drone-ish electronic music or something. Yeah, yeah. Like I think we were, we were definitely in that territory and, mm -hmm. and largely I think for a bunch of it at the start anyways it was kind of tonal-ish. Like yeah. We were kind of in a, in a bit more of a sort of melancholic or sort of minor key-ish vibe which I think started to break down a little bit more later on which was interesting as well to have that I mean, we, I think we still stayed in that um, kind of this sound world for mm. most of it, but the the harmonic thing started to shift a little bit more, yeah. which was kind of interesting to have that transformation. Um, yeah, it, it makes for a unique combination. I also really like the the variety in timbres because essentially we had four timbres of reeds, like from like the accordion to yours to to both of these here. Yeah, um, almost makes me wish I had like a little foot pedal or something so I could like give each one of them a different amount of air because it was yeah. like it's there was a volume thing right yeah, that yeah. was sometimes for me at least it was sometimes a bit hard to uh you know i would feel like oh this would be so nice if it was just underneath <laughs> yours and then here a little bit louder but then i just i just have no control because i don't know how to play <laughs> these instruments <laughs> but but there there was something i thought about that like it could be so nice to have such a control of these things because they it's like they're very similar, the, the timbres, as you said, but then they're a bit out of tune and they have like different little differences and it would be so nice to play with volume and, and sort of yeah, spacing, yeah. right? Yeah, and even, I'm sure you're used to this as well, but like with the melodica ones, and I'm sure with the accordion as well, as you start adding more notes, the volume starts dropping a little bit yeah, for the yeah. same air pressure. Yeah. So I tried to do that a little bit, but it's still, it's too hard to think of like, the notes I want on which one, but I now have to play more notes because I want the volume to go down. Yeah. Like it, it's a lot to juggle. Like if I, yeah, like if I had two separate pumps, I mean, I would still be terrible and it'd be hard to do, yeah. but at least it would be sort of separated from the same thing. Yeah. Also a lot of, at least for me, you know, like, okay, now I'm here and here and my mouth has, and my, I mean, I have to bite this for it not <laughs> to, to fall and everything. So 
it's a lot to think about and and then I thought if we were a bit more comfortable with this setup it would be so nice to to really be together in some kind of gestures that actually happened but mm. but a bit at least for in in my uh, opinion a bit out of control or in my playing but those gestures that we do uh, fast crescendos or then we just attack and go like mm. you know and be a bit more I'd like to explore that a bit uh, deeper, you know, to be... Yeah. I mean, there were some nice moments, like, when you first started introducing that kind of thing, mm. which which I kind of heard, but it, sometimes in improv, it, I, I always try to not necessarily immediately follow, because mm. then that becomes a little too, like... Um, yeah, yeah, and, and it becomes, like, the the thing that we're doing together, even though the gesture might be interesting, the overall relationship becomes... Mm. Like it's if you're speaking to somebody and they're like, oh, you know, I, I like this, like, I like that too. Like, but, but what about this? <laughs> yeah, that's great. Yeah, yeah. And like yeah. It, it, you're just agreeing with each other the whole time. And I think so. It's, it's a little tricky. So like I, I, I heard it and I was like, okay, I'm gonna. And we kind of we had some, but I didn't want to be like, yeah, yeah. I know what you're doing right away. Let's do it. Let's do it together. Fwing, 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 you know. Right, but also maybe it doesn't need to be really the same thing and being like in this uh, <laughs> kind of boring agreement. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it could be just exploring. Also, uh, casualistic, do we say this? Casualistic, I guess. Uh, relation between, like, yep, you know, yeah, yeah. a bit more, yeah, something like this. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we ended up some, with some stuff later on that I think just kind of arrived at where we had, like, little... Yeah. Beep, 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 and also... Yeah, yeah, the rhythm So I, I think that, like... And it's a tricky with improv because, yeah, you don't want to have this every, just agreeing all the time, but at the same time, you want to have some shifts that, for example... If both of us are doing this kind of material, then all of a sudden we're both here and then we're both back. Mm. But that's kind of really hard to do. Right. And that's what I really like listening to music in general. But but also it's it's so beautiful when it happens with uh, improvised music. That is, that you have a, a, like this thing of we're one organism and then and then we come together again. You know, this play between sp uh, sparse mm. stuff and togetherness. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's something I, I look for a lot when I'm improvising, you know, which is, I, I guess, some sort of like compositional uh, thinking. But it, but then it's it's sometimes hard. And it's funny when you uh, because people uh, there are some people who are just no, I don't I don't want that. Yeah. Never. I just want chaos always. <laughs> it's almost as uh, ideologic. Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know what you what you yeah, think. I, I mean, that, for me, I think I find it really interesting. And it's it's really hard to do, particularly as you add more people. So with two people, right. it's hard. With three people, it's impossible, etc. Mm -hmm. Like it, it scales up very poorly. But it's it's. Um, I mean, I had a duet in the past with a friend of mine that we tried to come up with, like game pieces that were around this. We'd, we'd yeah. have an idea that's like, oh, like we rarely like if we're improvising all of a sudden out of nowhere, we're not going to do that. So it's like, okay, how can we make ourselves better at that? And then mm. we'd come up with like some exercises and drills to do that and it was super useful this wasn't one of them but like we had a lot of these things that like um like for example one of them was being able to stop very tight together yeah so we we came up with things for that and then like we could be playing and then like and it's and it's like like we got really good at that yeah. so um it's something that i think you can like with any exercise you can get better at it but it's it, it requires a little practice and also with improv a little bit of thinking because i think some people do approach improvisation this way where it's just like whether they're playing solo in a duo or a trio, they're, they're doing their thing and they're just like, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. and that's yeah. cool. But yeah. like, I, I like the conversation and the, the, um, the relationship I find right. um, more interesting than what any individual person or what any individual sounds are happening. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like how the, the, those things relate, even as a solo player. So as a solo player, you can be doing this stuff and then you're here. And then you're back. Yeah, yeah totally. Um, now, it was also nice because since I don't know how to play this uh, guy, <laughs> I was always playing uh, just the same notes. They right. were quite beautiful. <laughs> so then I was like, cool. But it, I had this feeling of, okay, now I need Rodrigo to make this interesting, you know, <laughs> because I can't do anything else. This is my thing. So we're a team, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but also this, but it, this is quite beautiful, right? Mm. When you, you just do something and, and, and you're conscious about okay, the rest is is with, with him or with her, you know, it's yeah. like this. And it's and, and for me, I think if I'm playing piano, I have a bit more of resources and tools and I can make a lot of things happen quite easily. But while playing an instrument that is not yours, you're really like, okay, we re really need to work in community, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? And that that was, I, I like that feeling. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
Play some more? Yeah.
<laughs> one, two. <laughs>